welcome to our production of the Bible in 30 minutes or less or more. I'm the narrator, and it's my job to keep things moving and basically keep them on track. Now, do you guys know what I mean when I say the Bible in 30 minutes or less or more? No! Okay, I wasn't asking the cast. <laughs> uh, you kind of need to know, or you should already know by now. Okay, you might not know. Oh. Here's what I mean. We're going to act out parts of, or highlight, or at least mention every single book in the Bible. It's going to be interesting, though, because every name of the, of the books of the Bible are either names of a person or a place, which means we have a lot of things to cover. And with our limited cast, I mean... <laughs> right. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, we need a timekeeper. Is there anyone in the audience that would be willing to be our timekeeper? We have one. Is everybody ready? Yeah. 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 Okay, timekeeper, tell us when to begin. Okay, the first book of the Bible is Genesis. It starts like this. In the beginning, there was God. I am God. God created the world in six days. Light, dark, done. Sky, water, done. Sea, land, plants, done. Day, night, stars, galaxies, done. Sea animals, birds, done. Land animals, make a man. Your name is Adam. Okay. Done. And then he rested. Whew, hard work. I'm taking a break. <laughs> but Adam got lonely, so God made him a friend, Eve. There you go. Thanks. Live in this garden. <laughs> Live in this garden. Okay. okay. Eve took a walk. La, 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 la. And ran into Satan disguised as a snake. <laughs> Isn't a watermelon, it really looks like one. God doesn't want me to. Forget about him, have a bite. Okay. Eve gave some to Adam. And God got angry, so he kicked him out of the garden. Go. But he also made them a promise. Your, de your descendant will defeat the serpent. Okay. okay. <laughs> Adam and Eve had two sons. Cain. Hi. And Abel. Hey. Cain killed Abel. Die. Fine. So God got angry and banished Cain. Okay. Go. Then everybody on the face of the earth was bad and full of evil. This is a stick up. Give me all your money. We haven't met the money yet. Uh, give me all your sheep. <laughs> everybody was bad. Except Noah. I love you, God. God got angry and decided to send a great flood. So he had Noah build an ark and put a lot of animals on it. Aardvarks, check. Alligators, check. Antelopes, check. I'll stop here. <laughs> <laughs> then it rained and flooded and everybody died that wasn't on the ark. And then Noah emerged and there was a rainbow. Not again will all life be destroyed by flood waters. Then the people tried to build a tower of Babel. We can reach heaven and be like God. And God got angry and made them all Babel. <laughs> then came Abram. Hi! Who had a nephew named Lot? And this is my wife, Celine. God told Abram, You're going to be famous and have lots. 
and lots of kids. How is that possible? I'm 93, and Sarah's 90. I'm going to change your name. Make it Abraham. That's not much different. Abram, Abraham, but okay. Later, Sarah gave birth to a son. He said no. 
He asked for it the very first Passover happened. God killed the firstborn of every family that did not have the blood of the lamb on their doorpost. It was too much for him. Leave! So Moses took all the children of Israel out of Egypt. Goodbye! Adios! Off you to say! But Pharaoh changed his mind and tried to renege his offer. I'll make them come back. But he drowned after trying to chase the children of Israel across the Red Sea. Moses led the children of Israel to Mount Sinai. Wait here while I talk to God. And there, God gave him the Ten Commandments. I'm in that movie too. to kill Goliath. How will that defeat an army? Politics were different back then. Anyway, David killed Goliath and the people all cheered. Yay! Did he use 300 guys to defeat an army? I get that, but David just one stone? How fair is that? So David ran away. I wouldn't have taken the crown. After Saul died, 2 Samuel starts by having David crowned king. I'll make Jerusalem my capital city. David was the best king Israel had. 
He was the one who made sure that the tiny nation gained the respect of the neighboring countries. have to kill you. We respect you, neighbor. Thank you. The next king, David's son, Solomon, became the wealthiest guy on the planet. I had early stock in IBM, GM, and Microsoft. He was the king who built up Israel. I'll build an impressive palace for you, God, and an even more impressive palace for myself. He had a problem, though. What? He had 700 wives. Wow. And 300 concubines. Wait a minute. And he had to keep them all happy. <laughs> I want to go shopping. I need my hair done. Solomon, let's go for a drive. Ah! After Solomon died of exhaustion, the nations of Israel divided into two kingdoms. The Northern Kingdom, which kept the name Israel. Israel, that's us. And the Southern Kingdoms, which became Judah. We're the for real Israelites. Okay, I think we better do a quick time check. Timekeeper, how are we doing? 14 minutes. Whew, we better speed things. <laughs> Kings and Chronicles, we get to the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel and Judah. Lots of history here between the Jewish people happened. Judah fought Egypt. Go away! Oh. Israel fought the Babylonians. Go away! We'll be back. They fought each other. not only tells the story of kings, but also their queens, like Jezebel. I'm gonna kill that guy just to get his vineyard. And some famous prophets, notably Elijah and Elisha. I'm Elijah with a J. I ain't never died. I rode to a chariot to heaven. And I'm Elisha with an S. And I had the fun of facing her down. But it's mostly about the kings, until 721 BC, when Assyria conquered Israel. We beat you, you're coming with us. Oh man! <laughs> and in 586 BC, Babylon destroyed Israel and carried off Judah. We beat you, you're coming with us. Oh man! <laughs> After a while, Ezra came back from Babylon to Judah to start building things up again. I found some scrolls, small God's wall! And Nehemiah came back to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. I got my engineering degree from the University of Persia. The book of Esther tells how a beautiful girl becomes a queen. I was able to save all the living Jews in Persia. But it never mentions God in the entire book. Not once. Hey. Now, the Bible does an interesting thing. It's not so chronological anymore. It kind of jumps around. We get to the story of Job. Let's have a bet. We'll use this guy. Oh, okay. man. <laughs> the book of Psalms, which is a lot of songs. The book of Proverbs, which was written by Solomon. Even a child is known by his actions, by whether his conduct is pure and right. Chapter 20, verse 11. The book of Ecclesiastes, which is kind of depressing. And the book of Song of Songs, which is not. <laughs> then we get to the proper, prophets. These are 16 books of the prophets. And they do a lot of, well, prophesying. And because we said we would, here are all of them. There are some famous ones, like Isaiah. Which is a really long chapter, 66 chapters, and tells of the coming Messiah. Hey. No spoilers. And Daniel. Invited to the king and almost devoured by lions. And Jonah. You know, swallowed by a fish. And then there are others, which are not so famous. Jeremiah. I also wrote Lamentations. It's so sad. <coughs> Ezekiel. Doom. Jerusalem will fall. Death, destruction, global. 
Right, okay. Hosea? You are not going to believe who I have to marry. <laughs> Joel, Amos, Obadiah. Some of the shorter prophets of the Old Testament. And I'm the shortest. Shortest books. Oh. <laughs> and the rest of the prophets. Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. They all tell, overall, the story of the prophets was that God still loved the children of Israel, and he was going to take care of them. He would send a Messiah. I love you all. Help is on the way. Make sure you tell everybody. Okay, we will. Thanks, God. God. That's the end of the Old Testament. Yay! Timekeeper, how are we doing? Okay, great. Here we go with the New Testament. After the last prophet, Malachi, the Bible is quiet for a period of time. It lasts around 400 years. During this time, the Romans basically conquered the entire world. Or at least the part they knew about. Romans rock! The story resumes with the four Gospels. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell the same story, but from different points of view. It goes something like this. Joseph got engaged to Mary. Marry me, Mary. Okay. But she got pregnant before they could get married. Scandal. The Lord is blessing and don't you worry about it. Okay. The Roman king, Caesar, decided to do a head count of all the citizens, and he told everybody to go home. Go home. No. So, Joseph took Mary to Bethlehem, and since there was no room in the Drury Inn, they had to sleep in a barn, and that's where Jesus was born. Hi! <laughs> Jesus grew up in a place called Nazareth, but we don't know too much about his childhood. His trade was carpentry, so we know there has to be cabinets out there made by him. Perfect cabinets! Thank you! Jesus' cousin, a man named John, went around baptizing people and telling them to get ready for Jesus. You need to be Baptist. Excuse me? I, I mean, you need to be baptized. Mm -hmm. Jesus is coming. Mm -hmm. Right. Jesus went to see John. Cousin, <laughs> baptize me. But I'm not worthy. Please, do. And when John did baptize Jesus, God spoke. This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Jesus' first miracle was to change water into wine. It was so amazing. We ran out of wine at this party, and this guy showed up and turned the water into wine. It was a miracle! <laughs> Jesus started his ministry soon after that. He gathered 12 men. You will be my disciples. The leader of the group was a guy named Peter, who was also known as The Rock. Not Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Peter. The Rock of the Church. Great. Sorry, y'all. What a group of disciples they were. Fishermen, tax collectors, farmers, even an accountant. Jesus became close friends with these guys. I'll be there for you. with his disciples, telling them stories, stories of God and his love. God loves you, and he has fulfilled his promises through me. I am his son, your Messiah. At one point, Jesus needed some alone time. He went without food for 40 days, and at the end of the time, Satan showed up to tempt him. Want some bread? No. Want to fall off the temple and show your power? No. Want me to give you the whole world? No. It's already mine. Yeah. yeah! Jesus and his disciples walked around telling everybody the way to God. God loves you. The, oh, the only way to God is through me. I'm what the prophets told you about four minutes ago. The prophecy is fulfilled. He also did many miracles to prove his point. I walked on water, raised people from the dead, fed 5,000 from a loaf of bread and a few fish, had the Cubs win the World Series, healed, <laughs> cured blindness, healed leprosy, etc., etc. Jesus became a very popular guy. 
too popular in fact, the Jewish leaders called Pharisees got a little nervous. We need to get rid of this uh, Jesus fellow. I know. We'll have the Romans do it. So a plot was hatched to kill Jesus. At the beginning of Holy Week, Jesus came to Jerusalem riding in on a donkey and everybody loved him. We love him! It's amazing, Lord. You timed it so you got here at the beginning of Holy Week. It's Holy Week because I'm here, Peter. <laughs> right. Jesus first went to the temple and proved he was not a wimp. This is my father's house. You're stealing from my children. Jesus told many stories called parables at this time. The Pharisees kept trying to trip Jesus up in his words, but they could never manage it. Suppose you're on a train leaving San Francisco, going east at 75 miles per hour, and Peter leaves at the same time going west at 83 miles per hour, taking into account the atmosphere pressure at 3 in the afternoon, and assuming you're on parallel tracks, what time will you pass? I'll answer your question if you can answer mine. Do you know what a train is? No. Then you don't need to deal with pass at 3.47 p.m. This is my body, and this is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And then they went to a hill to pray. Father, I am very, very nervous and scared. Please be with me. I am, son. Judas led soldiers to Jesus. This is the guy who brought him before Pontius Pilate, who had him beaten, humiliated, and in the cruelest form of execution, crucified. Jesus hung on a cross and completed the work that God sent him. Established the church and went around telling the Jews how Jesus is the one. And the second guy was Saul. I'm going to kill every last Christian there is. Where are they? I heard there were some in Damascus. Let's go. But God had different ideas for him. Oh, I can't see. What's happening? Saul, why are you per why are you persecuting me? I'm sorry, Lord. Good. I'm going to rename you too. You are now Paul. Okay. Listen up. Jesus is the way. Paul spent his time making three ministry project, ministry journeys throughout Asia Minor. He would visit various churches and preach to them, and then go on to the next one. I want a free trip to Tahiti using my frequent sailing card. Actually, Paul won a free trip to Rome in handcuffs. What? Sorry. Paul had created so much unrest in the places that he visited that he was finally arrested and given a trip to Rome to present his case before Caesar. I am Caesar, ruler of the known world. You've been charged with disrupting the peace. 
Do you like my salad dressing? Not really. <laughs> Off with his head. Ooh. The next 14 books of the Bible are letters that Paul wrote to the churches that he had visited. Hey, wait a minute. That's my mail. Does the post office know about this? These letters are the books from which most Christian doctrine comes from. The what and how of Christianity. For the Romans, two for the Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, two for the Thessalonians, two for Timothy, Titus, you get one, Philemon, and I think I wrote this one for the Hebrews. What do they say? Dear Hebrews, nothing more Quiet. Look, I'll paraphrase. Love God, love each other, take care of widows, orphans, and strangers. In fact, the last books of the Bible are all letters, all written by guys who knew Jesus and were sent out to other believers in the world. James wrote a letter, Peter wrote two, John wrote three, and Jude wrote one. You know, the post office really let us down on this one. Letting all that mail get out, I think it's a federal crime. The next book of the Bible is Revelation. This book gives Christians hope and security that God is, he's more powerful than Satan. I'm going to come back and beat Satan. I'll fight back. And you're going to lose. I know. And finally, we get to the book of Concordance. This is where all of the words of the Bible are noted. <laughs> but it's in mine. It's mine. So are we done then? Yeah. Done. The V I P L E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The V I P L E. So that's the Bible in well, timekeeper. How many minutes? Three minutes. <laughs>